and fresh from the garden rosemary. Alright, here's the star of the show, some black fin loin. I'm using these half pint jars, these tall half pint jars. I want it to fill up to about where my index finger is there, leave about a half inch of head space in the jar. So about half of that loin is going to be about right. That. chunks for our canned tuna. We're going to do a couple of different recipes. One of them is going to be a garlic rosemary peppercorn recipe. And the other one's going to be a onion and sweet pepper recipe. I'm going to finish cutting the tuna and then we'll put this all together. Okay, the first one we're going to put together is the garlic rosemary. A half a pint jar canning jar with a, about a half a tablespoon of uh, light tasting olive oil. Put a few little leaves of rosemary in the bottom there, a little chunk of garlic, eighth of a teaspoon of salt, and four or five peppercorns. Put our tuna in on top, pack it nice and neat, tight. Down in there like that. Maybe another little piece will fit right there. Okay, we'll wipe the rim of the jar off with white, with a paper towel with some white vinegar. Gets all the tuna oil off of it. Make sure the so that we'll get a good seal. Ensure that we'll get a good seal on the jar. Sterilized top, brand new top. Sterilized ring. Screw it down just finger tight. That's all it needs to be. And that is ready for the can. Okay, this is going to be our sweet pepper and onion recipe. Again, this is some light tasting olive oil. A little squirt in the bottom of the jar there. Eighth of a teaspoon of salt. I'm going kind of light on the salt because I can always add later. Again, a couple of peppercorns in the bottom. Stuff our tuna in. Got a little room in the middle there. Poke your finger down there. Stuff a couple of onions. Some of these sweet peppers. Damn it. And just for good measure, a couple of drops of Chipotle Tabasco. Screw it down just finger tight. And that's ready for the canner. Alright, we've got all our tuna canned and ready to go into the pressure cooker. Okay, I filled that water up till it's about that far from the from the bottom of the uh, lid there. So on the jars that are on the bottom, the water's up about that far. What I'm going to do is I'll let the let the water come to a boil, and when I start seeing steam escape from this hole, I'll let it go for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I'll put this weight over that over that hole. Then pressure will start to build in the 
in the pressure canner. Once it gets up to 11 pounds, at least 11 pounds, 11 to 15 pounds, I'll start the timer for 100 minutes. I'll cook the tuna for 100 minutes. Then I'll turn the fire off and let it cool down on top of the stove. Okay, we've got our pressure up to 11 PSI now. I'm going to start the timer. Hour and 40 minutes is 100 minutes. I'm not going to let that pressure drop below 11 PSI. If it does drop below 11 PSI, I've got to stop timing. Okay, we were at 100 minutes with the pressure up around, uh, it stayed around 13, 14 the whole time. The timer just went off. I turned the heat off about 10 minutes ago. Pressure's dropping down. As soon as this little tab right here drops down, that means there's zero pressure in the, in the pressure cooker, and then I can take the lid off and put the jars out on the counter to, to finish uh, sealing. Almost there. There it is, still boiling. Set those out on the counter to cool and seal. There it sits, still boiling. Temperature is 180, that's below boiling temperature, but if there's a vacuum on the on the jar, so the boiling temperature goes down.